Hey, what's going on DZ Team, it's Z here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, like I talked about in the last one, we're gonna be talking about how to apply a tourniquet to a down buddy or family member or teammate or whatever the case may be. And today I have lovely Franklin over here from Modern Gladiator, <laughs> AKA Jazz Davis. <laughs> <laughs> I like Franklin. Right? I think I'm gonna start using it, man. That's a good one. So <laughs> let's get to the video. All right, guys. So now we're gonna talk about putting the tourniquet on when your buddy's down. So for this demonstration, Jazz here is gonna either be shot in one of the legs, and as you see here, he's wearing his kit, his belt. And right now, if you have a teammate wearing a kit with a thigh strap like both of us are wearing, you're gonna have to unclip it. So get friendly with him and unclip it. Uh, for this one, we'll be using his left leg just so we don't have to downgrade him a little bit here and have some fun. So next. He got shot in his left leg. What do you do? You have your tourniquet and you prepped it like we talked about last time, right? The first thing you're gonna wanna do is first make sure his leg is down, spread his legs a little bit, and this is the fun part. Put your legs this way. Legs towards me, <laughs> like that. <laughs> so the fun part for him I didn't is, sign on for this! Is uh, you see your lovely uh, support leg here, it's gonna go right into his groin and you're gonna press here with all your body weight. So lean into it and stop all the bleeding going into here. This is, works just as good as a tourniquet. I'm gonna release some pressure so I don't kill you. Uh, while you're putting that pressure on said leg, grab the loop, put it all the way around his leg, and they're gonna dead weight it. Whoever you're training with, let them dead weight it. Scoot it all the way up as much as you can. If you need to loosen it, loosen it. Get it as high and tight as possible. Now we're on there, right? So what we talked about last time is to wrench it up on that leg. So now that it's up there, pull up and all the way down, locking that Velcro kind of in there. How do you feel? Does it feel tight? Yeah. Does it I mean, feel it's tight? firm, but it's yeah. good, yeah. Do you feel blood flow going through still? Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to tighten that windlass. He's got stuff in his pockets. Sometimes you might want to move stuff or get rid of it, depending on if it's blocking anything here. He's got some stuff down. I don't want it to in, uh, impede on it. So I'm just going to kind of shimmy it down here. Next, we're gonna tighten this windlass three to four times. There's one turn, two turns, and three turns. Now that we got the leg up there, we're gonna put down the uh, times tab. And if I have a Sharpie on me, we're gonna write the time that we put it down. Right now it's 1856. So I'd put down 1856. Like we talked about in the last video, you can keep this on for two hours before you need to start worrying about nerve damage. Six hours, this whole leg is gone. So keep that in mind. Now, if we were to need to move Jazz for any reason, to drag him or whatever, you could imagine the tourniquet here is dragging on the dirt. So we would need to recheck it. How would we recheck it? Two fingers and try to put your fingers underneath it. If you can fit two fingers and I could slide them in there, that means this needs to be tighter. So if it's tighter, Put a second one on or retighten that windlass one more time if you can. For this demonstration, what we're gonna do is we're gonna re-wrench it down. Don't ever take one tourniquet off. If there's one tourniquet off, don't take it off because now he's just starting to bleed everywhere and now he's pretty much dead. So, again, we'll retighten it as tight as we can go. Make sure there's nothing in his pockets. Tighten it as tight as it can go down and then do it a couple more times. There you go. How's that feel? Feels good. Feels real tight. Can you stand up on that leg if you were to need to get up and fight? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Can you take a couple steps? Well, I probably would. Yeah. Kind of. Kind of limp. Limp a yep. little bit, but I could. Yeah. To be tight, but I noticed that the more I step, the, the more, more pressure is there. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right, guys, so for this one, he's gonna be shot in one of his arms. You pick whatever arm you want me to go for, go for and it, I'll go it. for it. <laughs> so he's gonna be on the ground again because if he got hit, we need him on the ground. Why? So we can drive our knee into his arm. Uh, so if he's laying down, right, uh, can you face uh, legs this way? Yep. So we can see from a side view. Okay. Are you doing right arm? Uh, I'll do that arm okay. since it's closer to the camera. So. Our Jazz Davis, our Franklin here, is dead on the ground. Or not dead, dead. hopefully not dead. <laughs> hopefully Don't not try dead. turn against the dead people. You could, but uh, <laughs> not dead, bleeding it's out. It's good for practice. <laughs> 
just got shot. We have our prep tourniquet. We just took it out of our belt here. So we want to get his arm, stretch it out. So we can drive our knee as high and tight. So it's going to be in the armpit area. So get your knee and we're going to drive it right here into the armpit. So now, as we put all of our weight on them, we're going to get our loop like we typically do. And we are going to loop over the arm, continue to move. And now, I'm gonna try to get it over your shirt here because it will pinch you and it's not gonna feel comfortable. You're gonna wrench it down. So, you're going to go up and all the way down like we did last time with the leg. Come down. And now we're gonna start tightening the windlass. Does it feel tight already, Jess? Yeah, it's pretty good. Cool. So the, your patient or whoever it is, teammate, family member, child, mother, father, whoever, uh, should already be feeling some blood restriction like I told you in the last video. And if you haven't seen that, go back and watch that video because you'll see a lot of stuff there. Next, we're going to uh, tighten this windlass and lock it in the windlass clamps. So three turns, hopefully we can get three turns in two we'll get one more in the pension yeah it's good and that's three turns now we put the times tab on and we put our time in right now it's 1904 uh, and i'll put the, the time there and if i had a sharpie put a t on the patient's forehead that way EMS, first responders, medical teams that come on can understand that he's wearing a tourniquet if he's wearing all black or they can't see it for whatever reason. So, Jazz, can you get up and fight from that position if you had to? Absolutely. Cool. Cool. You feel mission? Uh, mission ready. Mission Take ready, group. yep. Absolutely. Awesome. So, guys, go out there, practice with a buddy. You can take that off. <laughs> go out there, practice with a buddy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he can't take it off. He needs a medical expert. <laughs> He didn't even take the time stab off, he just started ripping it. <laughs> Cause you know that's how they're gonna do it. Yeah. <laughs> So go out there, train with a buddy, train with some family members, go train with your own Franklin. And uh, uh, if you want to train this important person, we have a classes for all of this stuff at dropzonetactical.biz. Don't mind Franklin. Uh, he's fine. <clears throat> and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>